It's War of the Roses, intern John, and your morning show. You think something's going on with the person you're dating. They're acting a little bit sus. Things aren't adding up. We, we try to rip the Band-Aid off, find out exactly what's going on with War of the Roses. Allison, good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning. So let's get to this. You have been dating Eric for about how long? It will be a year and a half in about a month. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, almost a year and a half. And living together the last two months? Correct. Okay. And everything's been fine. Eric travels a lot for work, which is kind of why this is a very time-sensitive one. Where is he right now? Or what city is he in? He's actually out in Omaha, okay. Nebraska. Got you. And he's been here, been there since last Thursday? Yes. Okay. Doing business? Sure. And uh, the reason the Omaha trips got you a little bit having the receptors go off, he sent you a live photo of what? So I always ask to see his rooms because sometimes they're pretty nice, you yeah, know, and then course. sometimes they're kind of like dumps. And, mm -hmm. and, and this time he sent me the photo of his room and, you know, his luggage, I, you know, recognize his, you know, carry sure. on, whatever. So like his luggage was on the bed and it was a live photo. And when I clicked it, like, just to hear the audio or kind yeah. of just see it more, sure. I guess, I swear I heard a female's voice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was like a shuffle female. And, yep. like, I swear I heard her say, like, this is nice or something okay. like that. And okay. Oh, I know gosh. I could be paranoid and, like, sure. maybe the TV was on. I mean, I didn't see a TV in the picture, so maybe a TV was on, like, off to the side. But yeah. my gut is 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 queasy. Right. <laughs> and yeah. it has been queasy. And so we're, we're trying to get by that and then explain his Instagram. Right. So that happens, and immediately my gut is queasy, and I'm like, okay, but whatever. I'm like, don't be that girl. Yeah. Um, and then, well, his birthday is next week. So I was trying to be all cute and, and do something sappy on my Instagram and just do like, you know, 10 pictures in a post and, sure. you know, give him like birthday love, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't know. He recently got a, a new phone. So he's got that phone with him in Omaha. And I was just looking to I don't know, get some different pictures than what I had on my phone. Sure. So he actually kept his old phone. So I went on his old phone and cause it didn't have, well, I guess, it, no, I, no, I don't think he had the pass code on. Like it's just you. like whatever. Cause he doesn't really use that phone. So anyway, I went on that phone and I was just going to go through some photos and airdrop them to myself. Yeah. But then the girlfriend queasy feeling, you guys, like totally got the best of me. And I ended up going into his Instagram because it was still logged on on that old mm. phone. And in his DMs, I found a message from a girl. And okay. it looked like it wasn't written in the invisible ink. Uh, or, well, maybe there could have been stuff that I didn't see. But sure. it, it didn't. There, was, there were messages that didn't make sense because there were a couple things that were generic. But then he didn't respond. So I'm like, did he delete his responses? But the last message was definitely an address. And it was uh -huh. definitely an apartment. Okay. Because it was like unit 3A or something sure. stupid. And it said... Text me when you're outside. Okay. But then there was nothing after that either. So if there was, it's like he almost could have deleted it. Sure. And so now I'm like sketched out. Okay. It's, it's all happening. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Um, instead of calling Trey from the flower shop, um, let's try to call the hotel and see if they'll patch us through. If they do, we'll have Sauce call from the front desk and try to get some information for you. Okay. Okay. All right. War of the Roses. That's really clever. Okay. We'll see. War of the Roses intern John Martin Show. What for the Rosies on Intern John and your morning show, Allison, I'm just going to kind of recap this real quick. So you and Eric have been uh, dating for about uh, a year and a half. Anniversary's coming up in a couple of uh, weeks. He's out of town on a work trip. You say that's normal. He's in Omaha. Been there since last Thursday. He has sent you a uh, live photo of his room, probably on accident, and you thought you heard a female voice in the uh, background. Uh, we did some investigating, wanted to send some photos from his phone to your phone, his old phone saw so he's logged into instagram somebody has sent him a female a address that was a omaha address saying text me when you get here that's kind of where we're at right mm -hmm. so 
correct, and my stomach is so queasy right now thinking about all this. Well, it could be, I mean, it could be nothing. Somebody oh. texted in as a fair question. Have you met his coworkers slash been to, like, uh, coworker uh, functions? Mm, not really. I mean, they travel a lot, so usually coworker stuff is, like, not here. Okay. But, okay. You know, it's Got like you. trade shows and Sure, stuff sure. Like and so has his traveling increased the last couple of weeks, or has it been about the same since you guys started dating? No, it's it's the same. It's pretty much once a month. He travels for like three to four days, like at a time. So it's pretty much like a monthly thing. So, gotcha. and he's not being like secretive of his phone, but I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so let's oh. do this. I'm gonna call the hotel, and uh, we'll try to get him to patch us to the room. You said he should be in his room right now. Yeah, he definitely okay. should be in his room. And then we'll, we'll have sausage from the front desk and try to get some information that way. So hold on one second. Might take a couple of tries to get through. Thank you for calling the Hilton Omaha, a proud recipient of AAA's Four Diamond Award. Look at that. For future and existing room reservations. Hey, we're calling Hotel Omaha. This is Priscilla speaking. How may I help you? I am trying to get connected to uh, a room, please, for air. Okay, bear with me one moment. Hello? Hi, is this Eric? Uh, yes, it is. Hi, this is Hazel uh, from the front desk. I'm just calling because I see that you're an honors member, and I wanted to see how your day is going and check in. Oh, oh, that's nice of you guys. I mean, um, uh, so far everything's good. I, I don't have any complaints. You know, it's a real nice uh, hotel. Sometimes I don't get a chance to stay in places like this. So I really appreciate that. Oh, you're you're enjoying your stay. It has been really busy this week. Yeah, I mean, but you know, I'm out here on business, so you know, I, that comes with the territory. If you actually have a minute, I have a quick five question survey that I want to ask you. Um, and if you uh, stay through it, I'll actually give you a free gift at the end. Um, it's sure, just, why not? All right. So, question number one: Are you here for work or pleasure? You did. Uh, uh, I'm actually here on business, but, you know, uh, believe it or not, I didn't think uh, Omaha had any nightlife. I mean, so I'll, I'm sure I'll find some way to pleasure my or have pleasure with myself. You know what I mean? Um, no, what do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure well, I know. You know the, well, I mean, you know, from a nightlife standpoint, I mean, it's just beautiful women all over this place. And, uh, you know, great. Where, where I've been, it's been some good eateries and, and nice environment. So you know that that's a that's a trifecta right there. Okay, um, I love that. So, do you think you're going to need some more towels? Oh my! Uh, the pleasure. Yeah, I could always use more towels, but that was okay. Yeah. Um, are All they right. going to bring them up to, today? Um, I'll I'll hit the maids up and they can like bring them up for you. Complimentary, of course. Some extra towels. Cool. We'll make sure they're nice and warm for you. Oh, oh, wow, you guys. Wow, that's something I never... Okay. Yeah. That great. Anytime. Well, we saw you're an honors member. We want to make sure we're taking care of you because you've been here for quite a few days. Um, also, now that you've answered some of the questions, we've teamed up with a local Omaha flower company. It's going into the holidays. We're just trying to get their name out there. So we're offering a complimentary complimentary bouquet of red roses. You can actually send them to anyone in the United States. They just started doing online wow. services, so we just want to make sure that we get their name out there so that people want to come to Omaha, like you said. Right. You know, we get a bad rap. But didn't, you, didn't, didn't, you, but didn't you say it was like five questions? Um, Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, so who do you want to send them to? Um, wow. Uh, oh, I got it. I got one. Okay. Um, uh, are you, do you have a pen? Yeah, I have my computer right here. Okay, even better. Uh, y O U. So you? Is yeah, you. It's been okay. Kind of, kind of get it. Yeah, I see. Um, and what do you want the card to say? No, 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 no. I mean you. Oh me. All right, me as in Hazel. Uh, don't don't you have like a girlfriend back home or something? I mean, you know, I'm I'm not back home. I'm you know I'm out. Mountain oh field, say so. Oh, so uh, more pleasure than business. Yeah. I I gotcha. Um, <laughs> I told you. I told you. I find a way. Right? <laughs> you did. And what did you want the card to say for me? Uh, since since you give off good vibes, uh, why don't you let me uh, 
get, get you off. <laughs> Eric, what the f- actual... Alice, that's a great... I, yes. I have Hazel. so many questions. Hazel. Uh, Hazel? Uh, my you name. Have so many questions. Yes, yes. I have so many yes. questions right um, now. Well, real quick, Eric, my, my name's Intern John. Uh, I don't know. Um, Intern John. Yes, I got Sauce and Rose here. We're doing War of the hey. Roses. I have your girlfriend Allison on the line. Why are you wait, trying wait, to hook up? Uh, no. Why are no. you trying to hook up with you the front know. desk girl when you have a girlfriend back home? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who is that? Who, who, who is Why are you trying to hook up with anybody? Desk? And never mind the front desk girl. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. Literally, yes. like, you sound mm-hmm. like trash. I'm going to get you, you get off. Like, uh, that, you Eric, get Eric that's not... So that, yeah, uh, Eric, that, that, yeah, Eric, the real question is, why are you trying to cheat on your girlfriend? That's the really only question who, you need to answer to. Any, who said anything about cheating? You said um, that yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, when, when when it was asked, uh-huh. do you have a girlfriend back home? You said, well, I'm not back home. Yeah. That, yeah, I'm not back. And, 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 and by the way, excuse me. I'm... Uh, oh, hello? okay. Well, excuse me. It is my business because, hello, I'm your girlfriend and I'm sleeping with you. I'm also dog sitting our dog and helping out with your with mom any- right now who's I didn't here. Sleep with anyone? You- wait, no, his I'm mom's wait, right now. His mom's what? there. Uh, yeah, like she's got some medical issues and she needs surgery. Oh so she's my gosh! Oh yeah. Dude. So all right. One, all right. Well, hey, uh, gonna, Eric, was, have a good have a good trip back, buddy. Enjoy Omaha, okay? Mm. We're gonna podcast this. Don't get sick. Oh my god, did he hang up? <laughs> no, he's still there. Did he hang up? He's still there, Eric. I'm uh, I'm confused because yeah, I don't no, I really I, understand let's, what's going. Okay, mm-hmm. well, you're, you're about okay, to find you're about to find out. Yeah. Can I just back up for a second because? You sent me a picture, and I asked you if there was a girl in your room, and you said, oh, no, don't be crazy. No. I told you it was the TV. Oh, I had my the God. TV. Got it. What okay. are you talking about? All right. Okay, so yeah, let me ask you a question. Oh. Let me ask you a question. Huh? Who lives in apartment three, I don't even know, A. I think it was A. I, who, that is who's Instagram. That's 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 the coworker I had to meet because we had to uh, sure we had, had her place sure. absolutely sure. okay all right your coworker is a female and texts me when you're outside is what is what your no. coworker saying you're going into like random you know, ass apartments Bob. you have a that's yeah, Bob an yeah all right what are you talking yeah, about all right Bob, well Bob, Bob, Bob thirty six twenty five thirty four is what mm. Bob looks like so that's uh I think we got our answers oh, here I got you guys I can't I can't no, just can't just hang up on him yes, I don't even want to hear his gross disgusting voice right now. Bye. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. Your thoughts always welcome with War of the Roses. 99338 to text in Burke, VA. Wendy, good morning. Hi, good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? I just want to say that it makes my day every single time. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you for listening. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. You too. Everything celebrity, that's music, TV, and more. Shelby Sauce has the entertainment report coming. What you got for us? A One Direction member or former member has a driving band for six months. And I'll tell you who. We'll mm-hmm. do it next on Intern John, your morning show. Intern John and your morning show. Podcast on iHeartRadio.